All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of City Skylines. Uh, things may look a little different. That's because I actually, um, it was weird. I, I actually did a lot of this work that you see here now, and I saved it, but the game actually didn't save. Um, and then the recording was also messed up. So uh, this stuff was actually quite time-consuming when I was doing it on camera, so I decided that since those re recordings basically never existed, uh, that I'm going to do them off-camera um, and then kind of uh, fill you guys in on what I did, and then we'll move on from there. So... Um, basically, I guess we'll start over here. Uh, so I curved this around because uh, I was thinking maybe we'll build up along this hillside, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it curved um, because we're not. I don't really want to worry about that right now. Um, and then I just kind of curved this up and around the lake here like this, and then it came back and connected. Um, and then I created a, a highway that comes all the way out over here, another one that kind of comes up here, and I believe I connected this one and this one kind of a little different as well. Um, there was something else. Oh yeah, I was going to, I, I think here soon we really need to get another, uh, train, um, station, uh, cargo station, uh, under wraps because this one has a lot of traffic. Um, we're going to need to connect that up. I think I did that in that video too, but I can't remember. Um, and then out over here, I just kind of got things set up for the freeway. Um, for now we have this little off ramp. I'll actually probably keep this when we do the full interchange. Um, it may look like this can be a four-way interchange, but I don't think it's going to be. I think what it's going to be is it's going to be a three-way um, or a two-way interchange. Um, and then it's going to have the front and roads kind of meet up and become a road. And then probably either come into here or curve into here. Probably curve into here, and then these will kind of follow a different path or something at some point. Um, I just feel like putting bringing a freeway down here is just not going to be necessary. Um, I'm sure the game will find any way to prove me wrong for that. Uh, but for now, we're going to kind of stick with the way we have it. Um, unfortunately, we had to, you know, kind of upset some people in this area. But um, basically, what we did is we're just kind of curving this down, and it'll kind of come straight up. And as we get closer to here, it'll kind of curve back up and around, and come around here. Um, I kind of see maybe a little touristy area up over here um, or we might kind of keep it downtown but this is where like the the beaches and all this stuff so we might I'm not sure yet we'll, we'll figure that out uh, where we're gonna do tourist stuff and whatnot um, I kind of feel like we need to focus on rebuilding this interchange here pretty soon too before we get too developed around it and then it makes it kind of hard to uh, to do anything um, and then also to do it before we get uh, too involved um, in this, you know, with this interchange, uh, having things back up and whatnot. So uh, that's going to be coming. As you can see, this is how the, uh, what I'm kind of thinking the freeway will look like for the moment. Um, so what I'm thinking is that we're going to work on this lakefront area. This is kind of actually what I worked on in that video that did not record. So let's let's just start with that. So. Uh, we're going to actually turn this into a regular road on around here. Um, I need to look and see if there's any uh, updates to the the, the mod uh, for making American textures uh, happen. Alright, so I'm going to say we're going to kind of come straight down more or less. Maybe come with a slight, uh, kind of come straight as possible. Um, and then from here, is that close enough? Do we want to go closer? We're just going to create a little inner road around the lake. Do we want it to come back up there or kind of continue and then rejoin down over here? I think we'll have a rejoin over here. Uh, of course, I have a join at the spot where I can't have it the way I want it. Alright, well then maybe. Hmm. Oh. Maybe I kind of do something like that. Yeah, that'll work. Um, and then this will come straight past here because eventually it'll it'll continue on. But man, what is it with this game right now? It just does not like me at all. So let's just bring that straight like that, and then maybe have this guy. Again, the game is gonna troll me a little bit. Let's go a little bit more then. All right. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Um, so nice and easy and then kind of come back around the lake like that for now 
Um, I don't remember how exactly I did this area, but I think I did it close to like cul-de-sac type deals. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna stick with because that looked pretty cool. It was it wasn't like the most efficient build, or it didn't look like the best, but it, it kind of fit the area. If that makes sense. Uh, it may not have like actually fit the area, but it, it fit the area. Um, so we're gonna do that. We'll kind of be respectful that this road may change change very soon so we're not going to build right up onto it uh, quite yet. I'm going to kind of keep a little space because um, eventually that may become a bigger road than it is especially if we bring the, the freeway down like we were talking about if it intersects with this road which it would make sense for it to come into this road because that'll lead into here so that'll give you guys you know a nice easy route to the freeway um, just continue this on down like so. Um, should we have that guy in there? Nice short little road or should we have something else? I think we'll have it just stay like that for now. Um, should we do maybe a little something a little different here? How does that look? I suppose or maybe we could just have it end like all the other ones do. Yeah, that could look good. That that looks fine to me. Let's go ahead and stay with that. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Um, so along the road here, uh, we're going to go and just do some commercial. Uh, take that guy out. And we're just going to do a whole line of commercial. This is going to be kind of like their, their thing, their area. Uh, eventually, I'll probably in, uh, put it in the policy to make this the, what is it, the high-tech area or whatever it is, uh, to bring in a lot of uh, the richer homes and whatnots. But I'm not going to worry about that right now because I don't think we have too much of a demand for that. Uh, I feel like that's just going to hurt us in the, in the long run if we do that now. Uh, but eventually, as the city starts growing out, then we'll, we'll probably start doing that. Um, let's see here that square. So we're just going to zone these guys out. I don't know why that zoomed in like that. It wasn't even touching the scroll wheel. Alright. So we'll just come across there and then we'll do a whole line of houses in front of the lake here. Why not? Get them a nice lakeside view and whatnot. Alright, so this is going to be a nice little community over here. It's going to be a small little secluded part of this area basically. Uh, we'll probably continue the grid out uh, along here just for the time being. Um, so if we ever have to wind that road out we can always you know kind of alter the area a little bit but that's probably a little ways. It, it's not like gonna happen right now but it's it's not gonna be too far off I feel either. Especially if we keep growing the city like we have been. Um, just connect that in, sure. Um, there we go. Unfortunately, we split apart a little too much there, so we're going to have to fill that in. That's not too bad. Do you, what, what am I doing? We don't need to do that. Is this area self-watered? Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay. I think it was at one point, wasn't it? I, I don't remember. Uh, we need to make sure that the power is all happy here. Um, all right, I think if we do something like try and follow this road as close as we can, I think those guys should connect in. Um, what do we got down over here? We have police. We have no fire. Okay. Probably put one of those in, maybe on the corner here. Right on the lake. So that way if anything ever happens, like a natural disaster, a nasty da disaster, a natural disaster, uh, they won't be able to respond. That, that seems like a really, really good uh, choice there. Uh, luckily for us, unless for somehow this lake adds a bunch of water, probably not going to have to worry about flooding. Um, does the house... Yes, okay. So that should... That one there should... Um, give power there if they need it. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to check. See how this is schooling. Schooling is not very good over here. 
So maybe if we do a skull over here, just to kind of get things off the ground and going, that may work the best. And then let's go and also district this area up, at least this area here. This area that's going to be along the lake front here. So we'll kind of follow that path there, and we're going to give it a really original name. And I bet you guys cannot guess what we're going to give this area. There we go. Very original. All right. And we're going to enact a couple policies in this area, kind of get things going. And educational, no, and recreational use. Okay. And one thing I find bizarre in this game is the lack of really needing to worry about police uh, or high crime rate in any area. Even an area that's gone downhill, like almost 9 out of 10 homes are abandoned. There's still like no crime in that area as long as you have a police station. It's really kind of crazy. Um, should we put a park in to begin with? Might as well. Just get something off the ground. Small park, kind of... Oh, I was kind of hoping we kind of put it off of there. Mm, plaza. We can do a small playground, probably. No. Not going to like me for a small playground. Put it right off the lake. Kind of just doesn't feel like a best idea, but I guess it's kind of like the best thing I got right now. Uh, that's far enough. I mean, yeah. Yeah. They're, they'll be okay. All right, so that should get people building in here, especially commercial, but also just people. People should be building. As you can see, they are over already pretty heavily using that road, aren't they? Okay, I see they're using it for to get into this area. That's going to be interesting. But I think if we have eventually uh, a quicker way of getting into the community, into the uh, into the community, into the uh, the main freeway here, I think that's going to be a whole another ball game. Um. It was kind of funny, and I was looking at. I was almost kind of thinking we could use a freeway back up here, but it's all hilly and mountainy up here. I don't really want to deal with that. Um, we do want to get an interchange going here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, we definitely want to get an interchange going here because um, just to encourage people to use it, and in that way we can get uh, everything built into here. We need to buy the square to do that. Uh, so we'll do that. We pretty much we got most of the squares bought now. And not really just for development, just to kind of connect all the development. Which is okay. Yeah, it's just, just fine. Um, what I think we're going to end up doing is we're going to curve this a little bit more sharply. And, oops, I had the right one. So we're going to kind of do a little bit of an overswing and then come back in. Um... Now I think what's going to end up happening is, oh, there we go, is we're going to kind of come straight off, but then we're going to curve back on ourselves and actually come along the freeway, or the, the highway here, and it'll eventually split off and kind of come into the city. Don't know how well that's gonna work, or that's gonna be bad or good, but we're gonna go and give it a shot and see. Uh, these guys are on a hill already, so I think we're gonna try and use that to our advantage. Um, and then we'll come down this side. I think that should be good. Now, one thing I want to do is just to make sure that if we ever need to, that we at least keep the pillars far enough away. Yeah, we do that. Uh, I doubt these are straight across, right? Yeah, I doubt it. Okay. I doubt it, and I was correct. So, go to 12. And then, does that drop off at all? So, hmm, that's going to be interesting. Alright, try and keep it looking decent, I suppose. We have it come up one. Uh, if we have it kind of curved slightly, is that going to be too much? Or okay, that's not enough. We need to curve a little bit more beforehand. Um, so I think we went 
a little too far back there. Uh, hopefully this will work all right. I kind of freehand this right now, and hopefully that'll hopefully it will be nice to us before doing that. So we'll do twelve, yeah, and then kind of don't come too much of an angle here. Uh, come up two. Hopefully we'll be able to make this nice and even. Just a little bit past, and what I can do. Hmm, I was hoping that I would be able to kind of attach it. Um, can I make that look any better? Man, building these interchanges on hills are always fun. But I remember I built this in that video that didn't happen correctly. And I remember it turning out pretty decently. And now it's just not. All right. Maybe if we kind of curve it a little bit before. So I have to kind of swing back. Yeah, it kind of swings back on itself once I do that. Okay. So maybe a little bit less maybe just a gentle curve where's the little guidelines uh, they get all hidden up by the the width of the bridge here all right that I think will work it's a little it's not terrible definitely could be a lot better but I think we're gonna live with that for now I doubt we'll be able to mirror this at all on this side Alright, but it may work. Yeah, it works a little bit better on this side, I think. Yeah, it definitely works better on this side. I'm not sure why. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure all those are going the right way. Yeah, I mean, it's not the most perfect thing that's done in the world, but it looks decent enough. It gets the job done, so. Um, hmm. So here, what I'm going to do is we're going to have it break off and then connect straight in, but we're also going to uh, like that, and then we're going to have it kind of do a curve into there. So for any development that we may do over here or something, anybody getting off here will be able to, instead of going up here and coming around the curve, they'll actually be able to just get on or get off and get on to the... Uh, uh, onto the other highway there. Ooh, there we go. Alright, and try and connect this. I guess we can go under the train there. It's pretty far out interchange. We don't have to worry about other interchanges close by quite yet. We might eventually, but right now we don't have to, so that's good. Uh, I also want to kind of work on getting this train in. I think what's going to happen is the train's going to connect in over here, kind of where it's a little bit flatter for that moment. So it's going to come up and it's going to cross over. So this freeway is going to have two points where rail crosses over. Because on this side, I just cannot, I, I remember not being able to find any place to connect at all. Um, wrong tool. All right, so let's go ahead and there we go. And can we do any sort of, okay, that works. Try not to go too far because we need to create a nice gentle slope. Oop, wrong way. Zero. Okay, so nice, gentle slope. That looks good. So maybe kind of come like that, and then we just create a nice little Y here. 
and that should work. So that'll allow them. Wow, that's a nice, nice slope there. On this side, mm, could be better, but oh well. It's not too bad. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not great by any means. Um, so eventually, this will get a uh, what you call it a uh, passenger station on it. Um, once we get there, uh, what are we at? We're at like 18, almost 20,000 people. Yeah, we'll just kind of have to see how traffic's doing. I think we're going to need to start timing this light here for sure. Uh, getting that all under control. So, all right, so we got a brand new interchange here. We got the highway running down. So that'll allow for development in this area because this area is fair, rough, uh, you know, fairly flat, if I can say the word. Um, and I think that'll work pretty good. And then we got the train line coming over. So um, let's see here. It's looking pretty good. Uh, we do need to get some industry in here. So let's go ahead and do that. And before this grows, let's go ahead and get this road all connected up and get these roads all widened out as well because it's becoming an issue quickly, especially for this cargo terminal, which just like overnight uh, like from the time we built it just took off and now we got huge and huge amounts of traffic um, so it's going to do an upgrade I already know this is going to be need to be two lanes so that's what I'm going to do and what I'm going to do see here that's that's it's going to be two lanes all the way up until there uh, this road is also going to be two lanes all the way through or four lanes I suppose all the way through something's there we definitely have a lot of traffic lights we need to turn off that'll fit nicely there and then we can wind that out and then we need to just go turn off traffic lights go a little traffic light crazy here uh, so turn that one off, turn that one off, turn that off that one, that one leave that one on, turn that off Turn that one off. There we go. That one did turn off. That's good. Turn that off. Turn that one off. And turn that off. That one's on. Okay. Uh, all on this side need to go. Uh, so turn these all off. Minus that one there. Okay. Uh, this roads. How are they going to connect? I guess we'll just we'll just do that. So I mean, we could do something like that, but I have a feeling that they would all cut down through there. I mean, I have a bad enough feeling that they're going to cut down here to get into here. I'm hoping not, but quite possibly. And it does add a light there, which is not that good. But hopefully, we can get some traffic flow going through here. Um, everybody's covered right now, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, we have a lot of traffic coming off of there, which is just crazy. Uh, why don't we go ahead and do this along here, all the way up until there? Why not get that out of the way? See, so we can kind of get. A double double left going on here and see if people actually use a double left uh, should we might as well I don't normally like to build along the busy roads like this but we'll see how it goes all right so that gives some new industry to the area How's this area building up building up pretty nicely um, population not too bad, I suppose. Well, not that many people, but you know, not bad for just starting up. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with this area quite yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah, I can see we have this area growing out over here, but we also have some uh, development happening over here because we have all this zoned out. I just realized that this, um, you know, that's what we'll do. We'll just turn that like so. And then we'll just zone this area like that and zone that as well. 
eventually that may become commercial or something. I, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, hopefully we can kind of get a little bit more of a curve type pattern into this. You know, maybe kind of, you know, when we curve back up and over, that should look pretty good. Um, as I said before, curves, you know, it looks good, you know, on a freeway and whatnot, but it, it definitely makes it a whole nother beast when it comes to creating these overpasses and furniture roads and whatnot. Um, definitely takes a lot more, you know, patience and time. Um, okay, traffic is just terrible here. Where would we put our next cargo terminal? I mean, just where would we? That That's crazy to think about. Hmm. I don't really want to put it in the city. But I want to put it close enough to here so that way they kind of, you know, maybe split them apart a little bit or something. Because uh, this traffic here is just terrible. And it loops back on itself too, so that's not very good. I mean, what we could do is, you know, have a one-way coming in and then have a one-way going out onto this freeway and just force them to take our freeway out. Um, may work, I don't know. Or we could just do one over here. Hmm, what do we want to do? Because, I mean, we could come off of this road here, have a one-way that comes back into this intersection. We could do something like that, I suppose. And then just try and, and feed them through as best as we can. Hmm. We definitely need to get another one going, though. See if we can kind of split the traffic a little bit. And then I, I want to build a little bit of industry on this side as well. So that may, that may help. Um, let's see what we can do. Stop just babbling about it. Let's actually try something. So, kind of come... Um, come like that. I want to make sure we have enough room to get the track in there. So, kind of come like that. And then we can just kind of... Oops. Do it, right? Or we could just... Hmm. I mean, we could just turn it in there, but that's going to cause a lot of traffic if we do that. Um, so at least we get it to the intersection here. That's also going to cause a problem, though, because all the trucks are going to be stopping there, waiting for that light. And if we ever want to time this light, that's just going to make it so much more complicated. Oh, man, what do we want to do? Not sure. Do it on this side. Gives us a little bit more room. Um, and we definitely we need to get another one going. Maybe off of this city here. I mean, we've already got the passenger station. Hmm. Got a nice open area right here. Not sure. We could also do some roundabouts like right here as well. In fact. Maybe we put a roundabout here. That may help eliminate a lot of problems right there. Oh man, building a roundabout is going to be a challenging, but I think, I'm thinking that that's like our best option right now, aside from building another one. But I think if we can kind of build a decent roundabout, we may not need to build another one for some time. Um, so let's see what I can do here. or maybe start about there all right well, that looks that looks pretty terrible let's see here pre-made one you do use something like that yeah and we can change it from there uh, so kind of put it right, right here, quite possibly, and then we'll change that from the six lane to just a two lane because it really doesn't 
this really doesn't change anything to be honest with you. Look, it's kind of off too. I guess this game just cannot make circles or something. Hmm. It almost needs to be a little bit larger though because of the type of connections we're going to have. Oh man. Hmm. Um, we gotta get this figured out here. I'm not sure. Hmm. What do we want to do? I guess we'll do a larger one like I was doing. Whoops, not not that because theirs looks a little a little off too. I don't know why. It actually, it's a, for this angle, but from up top, it looks a little off to me for some reason. Huh. Maybe it's just my brain. So, okay. Well, I think in the next episode, we'll go ahead and work on doing the roundabout. Um, it was a pretty good idea that I had. So, that should work pretty well there. That should get traffic moving around and whatnot. So, we'll definitely work on that in the next episode. Uh, as always, guys, if you like this series, go to the like button. Don't forget to favor, subscribe, comment, all that kinds of stuff. Definitely stick around for future episodes. And as always, thanks for watching.